So on Mondays, we have tech seminars, which is the technical side of our building project. And obviously, while I'm doing design work, I'm just listening in to the tech lecture, which is not the best because I'm multitasking, but this is how I'm trying to do both things at once. Building? A newbie here. <laughs> the, like, even the architecture on the side is so cool. The only thing is like, they need to work on where the entrance is. <laughs> no, the entrance is just the wheelchair entrance. Yeah, they should make it more... <laughs> no, I thought there was like a back area. <laughs> That's just, what like, I thought. Doing, is this a new book? What is happening? <laughs> but the building is cool, right? Like even the yeah, staircase. I love the lighting, dude. Aww. So my lovely friend Julie came to visit me for the weekend because it was my birthday party. You can find the vlog video of that here if you're interested. Um, but it's just really nice having Julie work next to me in the studio and just good vibes overall. Yeah. Bye. <sighs> so I'm here in Bartlett and today is my birthday. Apparently, I just realized this morning, I forgot. But yeah, just join me on my birthday. But just a normal day at the Bartlett. This is just gonna be a really boring working day for me. A nice birthday though. <laughs> and then I just spent the rest of my afternoon just working in the studio and chatting with some friends and at the end of the day I just packed up and went home but of course I had to water my bonsai first before I leave the studio so I'm heading home now and today's been a nice day I feel like today is a very very normal work day which is also very nice like there's very nice things in normal days and simplicity and average days it's just nice you know everything is kind of expected so yeah, I guess my birthday, the actual birthday is also quite nice and now I'm gonna head home. On Thursday morning, I was a bit sore so I didn't go to the gym and instead I used the time that I woke up early to just do my February spreads for the next upcoming month. And if you guys are interested in how I use my planner to structure my days, let me know in the comments down below and I might make a video on that. So yeah, it's quite helpful in planning my days and time management. So I just finished uh, working out at the gym and now I'm going home and today's tutorial day but I feel like I did most of my work that I wanted to do yesterday so I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty okay about it and I just wanted to say that like now the daylight hours are increasing so the sun's very bright now and now the sun sets at like 440 so that's really nice and it makes me very happy that the sun is staying out for longer and yeah. But I just had a very nice tutorial with Ify. It's only Ify today, Dan couldn't make it, but it was really nice, really helpful. Um, and right now I have to start developing my first plan. And yeah, it's a nice tutorial, so I'm quite happy. So for the first time in forever, I'm heading home early. It is around 1 p.m. and I'm heading home because I'm just very tired. So I'm planning on going home and taking a nap. But yeah, building on top of the fact that tutorials went very well, it's actually pretty funny because um, Ify was like, Gloria, how did you do so much work? And it was your birthday week as well. And then when I look back on my work, I'm like, oh yeah, I did do a lot of work. So. I guess it's nice to get like reassurance and be complimented once in a while about like your workflow and things you produce. So yeah, it was really nice and time for a nap. 
Look at how bright the sky is. Isn't it so nice? I also have a dinner to look forward to tonight with my friends. So that's something I'm quite happy about. This is a birthday present. Thank you, mom. Yay! Look at that. I'm so excited. So I have the new Fitbit watch and I'm pretty excited about this to get some data and track my health. After my amazing nap and setting up my Fitbit watch, I went to my friend's place to cook dinner after our grocery trip. And I'm telling you guys, cooking is such a relaxing and nice activity. You can do it while chatting with each other. And I made this Korean inspired soup with tofu, mushrooms, and leeks and potatoes. That's obviously vegan. And I'm really happy that the people enjoyed my dish. And it was just a very wholesome night talking to friends and I'm really happy. Okay, and throw no, it. No, 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 just this video. Just video. Oh, okay. I can't find the, the other movie. Right? A negative first. Okay, negative first. I'm here and I'm just flooded with memories. I'm just so hungry. <laughs> Oops, okay. <laughs> Happy Saturday. So this morning I spent some time just editing my vlog videos, uploaded it to YouTube, and now we're, I'm just gonna go out and do some grocery shopping. And because sadly my sister has gotten COVID and she's self isolating, I'm gonna get her some cakes on the way because she's a big foodie for sweet treats and cakes. So yeah, I'm gonna go get her some cakes and get some groceries for myself. <laughs> Sunday as you can see the Sun is so nice um, so actually I woke up quite early this morning around 7 to do some of the things I needed to do on my to-do list um, but just miscellaneous errands um, and right now I'm heading to the Bartlett because work and I am finally getting back on my podcast and recording an episode with my tutor Ify at 11 so that's where we're heading to now got the mic and all the setup ready and let's go So we just finished recording the podcast. It's very, very nice. The podcast episode should be up by now, by the time this video is up. So click here to listen to the podcast. After recording with Ify, I just continued doing my work for my design work and did a lot of sketching and planning for my first plan iteration, which is quite exciting, but it ended up also being super difficult because you had to encompass all the ideas from previous tutorials and bring them all together in this one plan, which was quite hard for me in the beginning. I also started making portfolio pages for my portfolio as well and just piecing information of the site onto the project and preparing it for the plan. For example, I looked at the different types of trees on the site and then I started sketching out the plans over the site plan and relating it back to some of the research that I've done a few weeks ago and just trying to bring them all together in this first iteration. After working in the studio, I went home and me and Nicole, we started making some 
dumplings Chinese style for Chinese New Year because on Monday it is New Year's Eve so we started preparing the filling for that and I was really happy because I got the Chinese chives from Chinatown and despite being really expensive but I devised a vegan filling recipe and it just smelled really good with the sesame oil and the chives I bet you someone will be like, Emma, can you give us the recipe, Glory? No, I don't think so. Right? Not the jiaozi pi. Jiaozi is pumpkins, right? Yeah, jiaozi. Jiaozi. Pi is wrapper. How? Jiaozi pi. Pi. Yeah. Jiaozi pi. Pi is like wrapper or skin. Hopefully it's like good dumpling pi. Okay. <laughs> well, Why is it so uneven? Oh, flour. Let me demonstrate. Because normally we don't need to wet it at all. Yeah, it just sticks. Because uh, it's freshly made. So yeah. Right. So I guess we were, I was just lazy. You pinch it. You like pinch it in and then outside and then pinch. Okay. And then you get a nice dumpling. <laughs> the Russian version of this with meat, I'll show it to you later. Oh, okay. But how would you pinch only one side? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, just hold. But you, it looks pretty okay, actually. Wow, Nicole. Yeah, but show me again, though. Okay, okay. Or do you want to do it with me? Uh-huh. Oh, I think I remember. So you do it like this. So you pinch all of it together. And then you take it like this. And oh, then it looks like this. oh, okay. Do you want me to pin? Sure. We have like a multicultural dumpling. <laughs> this pinmini. <laughs> it's called what pinye? Piel. Piel. Mini. Piel mini. Yeah. That's so. Piel mini. Piel mini. Okay. I'm literally laughing as I edit this video because the way that I pronounced it was so terrible but it was just a very nice evening making dumplings with Nicole and just talking about each of our cultures it's just so nice, you know, using food to bond with each other as a cultural thing and yeah complete, look at it, so pretty and then we have like a roll Russian dumpling in the middle <laughs> It was really nice just eating the dumplings together and having a chat. Obviously, this year I couldn't celebrate Chinese New Year with my family, which is what I normally do. But just cooking the dumplings and making it with my friend, I just felt like it's almost bringing home to me in London. So I was just very, very happy and it was a nice evening. And that was my week. Thank you for watching.